We want to know when people say sustainably, sustainably, what do they mean? And let's see it. Absolutely. And uh, one of our big themes is recycling. OK. And, um, so, I mean, what you see here is our classic Nespresso aluminum coffee capsule. And that will typically have a second life. And that could be, for example, an aluminum pin or it could be the aluminum bike behind you. So there's lots of uses where aluminum can have a useful second life for consumers, and uh, we have been a pioneer in, in recycling schemes for aluminum. We're terrible about recycling in America. How can you get the word out that we should start getting better? We make it easy for you as consumers, so when you order that product, there's a prepaid UB UPS bag oh, really? with it, and so you just return the used capsules, and then we do the rest. That is so smart. That's a great idea. Now, you guys do more than just food. There's a, you do health care. And there's a thing that, you know, I, I lost my mom to cancer. And I wish that we had COPES. This COPES program yes. is so extraordinary. How did you think of it? And what does it mean for the company? Yeah. So, I mean, this resonates very strongly with me in my prior career in healthcare. Right. I know that for cancer patients, it's not only about the medication. It's also about a proper nutritional status. I also know that cancer patients, you know, they get a lot of conflicting advice from experts in pulling it all together and having one network that online sort of gets you in touch with an expert when you need it and gives you the right sort of nutritional advice. Um, th there's a real high medical need for that. We started to roll this out this spring. It really catches on very nicely in the market. And it just shows that we're not just interested in selling the product alone. Right. What we want to do is sell the solution. OK, so what happens? Do people say, you know what, this Nestle is a caring company. When I'm uh, faced in a supermarket with one product versus another, I want to do Nestle's because I think they're caring? Well, I mean, we speak through our brands. OK. And so different brands stand for different things. Right. And, uh, you know, those brands have to be convincing. Some say Nestle on it, others don't. But I think all of them have a definite purpose, and everything needs to be consistent with that brand purpose. All right. Well, thinking of that, uh, plant-based, you mentioned the incredible burger, uh, but you kind of just dropped it in the conference call. Where are we? Look, plant-based is a major, major theme for us. Okay. And it's not only about meat analogs, it's also about dairy. So think about ice cream, think I about I love your dairy. Absolutely, your plant-based products and creamers are the best. And uh, that's a key theme because at the end of the day, it usually has a better nutritional profile for mm -hmm. consumers, and it also has a better environmental footprint. So right for you, right for the planet, that's a big theme for us. On the burgers, we have it out in Europe. We're doing really well. We're launching the awesome burger in the United States uh, in September. So we're a few weeks away from that, and uh, it's going to be great. What I want to do with the awesome burger is go to where a chef to a restaurant and have it made. So it's not just me putting it on a grill, because I think that you need more than that. You're absolutely right. The burger is, an, is, is a classic out-of-home product. So right. you want to be able to buy it at retail, but you also want to be able to have it at a restaurant. And one of the things I wanted to suggest to you is why not have a side-by-side Great plant-based burger shootout of Done. 2019. Half, you know, the products prepared the same way. And then you're taste willing them to you're willing to stake your reputation. This we're, is a remember. There's no compete. accounting for taste. We're willing to compete. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.